Hey, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial today using the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette and the Jeanne Couture palette, World Traveler. It's all big, one word. <laughs> so I have primed my eyelids with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Just using like a concealer brush because it's hard to do that when you have nails. Uh, so I'm just going to zoom up now and we will get into the makeup look. So, I'm actually just going to do this really quick just so it goes up a little bit. Alright. So I just kind of clip my hair back so it wasn't falling in my face. And I'm going to begin. So I'm going to start by taking Buttery, this corner one here, and then building in some Sherbert afterwards into the crease. So just taking a large, flat shadow brush. Doing a nice light shade or just the same shade as your skin all over the lid helps blend all the other eyeshadows together so that's why we do that and then taking a fluffy brush picking up that buttery or uh sherbert color putting that in the crease as a transition no this isn't gonna be too complicated, but it's going to be nice summer colors. This doesn't have to be perfect, it's just the transition, but you do want the edges to be blended out nicely. making it a little darker because I do still want it to be seen through the other colors once they're on top. Okay, done with that. Uh, now I'm going to just take a more tapered fluffy brush and sorry, something on my lips and I'm going to pick up this Isla color, I think that's how you pronounce it, I-S-L-A, and I'm really going to coat the brush with this color because it's a lighter mint color, and I'm going to just go a little bit lower in the crease. That is so pretty. I'm just kind of doing like back and forth circular motions to blend that all in. So the reason why I'm doing these kind of colors is because of my skirt. So I always base my outfit or my makeup off of my outfit. So I am bringing the green into the corner a little bit more and then blending it into the crease again. Alright, now this one side looks a little darker, so I'm going to just add a little bit more. Now I do want to add blue into this, so I'm going to close up that palette. And I'm going to take this more domed tapered brush and pick up Azure which is in the Shadow Couture palette. 
and a little goes a long way for this color. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner and into the crease. Just building that pigment to kind of get a nice deeper blue, but not too dark. you control how dark you want it. And I really like this brush because of how precise it is. So when I tap this in, I am kind of doing it in circular motions. So I'm tapping and going in circles to make sure that the entire thing is coated in the color. Alright, and then to blend that, I'm going to go back in with the first brush we used, not picking any other pigment up, just with that transition color, and I'm going to start at the bottom right here, and just go into circular motions and blend it all together. Leaving the center blank. Nice and blended compared to that. So going back to the first brush you use with the transition color is the best idea. You don't want to go back to that second color because then it's just going to be uh, more green that you're pushing around instead of that really light sherbet color. Transition color will help to blend in the end. And then, we go back with that tapered brush, and I'm going to actually pick up a little bit of that blue that we were using, and I'm gonna do that in the crease again. Just to get a little bit more of that blue color in there really like it. Azure is what it's called. This is coming along nicely. And I think I'm going to take that first color again and pick up um, this soft peach. It's almost like buttery, but it has a little bit more of a peachy tone to it. And I'm going to go right over here and I'm going to just blend that upwards into the brow. So it kind of got rid of that really harsh line, if you can tell. Now the reason I didn't pick up the first color I did, um, buttery, is because it was almost too pale. So it would have ruined the colors I've laid down. I think, anyways. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to take... Hmm. I'm going to take Chic with this really flat brush here. Chic looks like this. And I'm going to add that under my brow bone. There we go. Now you can see the shine. It's kind of like a metallic-y silver color. 
goes really nice with like the blues and greens that I used. And it's very subtle so it's not too powerful to take away from the eye makeup. And then I'm going to use this really flat pointed brush by Royal and Lank Nickel. It's supposed to be for your lips, but I'm going to use it in the inner corner using the same sheet color. That's really pretty. I think I want to bring that green back. Kind of got lost in with all the blues and stuff. So, what is my plan? My plan is to put this eye Isla. <laughs> Isla. I'm going to put that on with this. I'm going to clean that off a little bit. It's got some brown on it. This brush here from Luxie. It's the 221 flat definer brush. I'm gonna pick up a lot of that pigment. I don't really want this to be pigmented. And I'm gonna actually zoom in just a little more. And I'm gonna place this just right underneath my lash line. Now this is going to be subtle. It's not a harsh color, but it's going to make the look bring it into the corner a little bit more oh yeah, that's pretty and then don't forget about the other side oops Now if you want, you can add a color in your waterline. Um, I have super sensitive eyes, so every time I put something in my waterline, my arse, my <laughs> my eyes, they get really irritated and start watering. So that's why I like this little brush because it gets as close as it can to the waterline without annoying my eyes. I really like that. I think I made it a little thicker on the one side though, so I'm gonna add a little more over here. And then I, I still don't know what to do on the lid. What should I do? Hmm, I might just pop in uh, some pink champagne. Why not? Yeah, sure. Let me do that. Let's find a brush for this guy. Alright, I'm gonna pick that up. And I'm gonna spray. Oh, wrong way. Some Fix Plus. To get it extra pigmented. What is going on with my bangs? Alright, let's zoom back in here. Alright, that is super subtle, but I like it. I'm just going to pack this on <laughs> as much as I can.
All right, once mascara is added, I think that it will look a lot better. So let's do that quick. What mascara am I going to use? I'm going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara just really quickly. Pop this on. I'm not feeling lashes. And then I am wearing Aries on the lips from the Ofra Manny MUA collab. I really like their liquid lipsticks. I've never tried Ofra's liquid lipsticks before or really anything from Ofra other than like an eyeliner I got in my Ipsy. So I was quite impressed. It was like three for 35 bucks once I used his code. And let's just got mascara in my eyeball. That was really, really scary. I don't know why I blinked. So this mascara is not the best on the bottom. It's like really clumpy. So I think I'm just gonna stop it there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna add another coat of Aries to the lips. Just to get that extra color because it's kind of faded spray some setting oh okay the lid just popped off and we're done so that's the final look Mascara definitely sets it off. Really pretty. Definitely kind of like a smoky eye, but more like summery because it's uh, more colorful. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.